Next story still to come, why the ability to de-ice a plane in Canada starts with Ottawa. Welcome back. If you tr if you've traveled by plane in the winter months, you've probably had to sit through de-icing. But did you know de-icing wouldn't happen if it didn't come through Ottawa first? With a CTV News exclusive, here's Megan Shaw. During Canadian winters, airlines are constantly challenged by snow and ice. To get you into the air safely, crews need to be sure the wings of the plane won't freeze. Before a de-icing fluid is approved to do that job, it's tested in here. We're very lucky to be in Ottawa where it's cold. We like it to be as cold as possible because we're testing these fluids to the limits. This is the inside of the National Research Council's wind tunnel. This is the only facility of its kind in the world that does this type of testing. To see how anti-icing fluids will hold up, researchers have a model wing that's covered in the liquid. Then they bring on the storm. Tossing on ice pellets, covering the wing in snow and freezing rain. Then turning up the wind to simulate a plane taking off. This is what it's like at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour, but when they do that actual test, it's much faster than that. We can hit uh, 200 kilometers an hour. The information gathered here in the capital is shared with Transport Canada. It's also used to create safety guidelines for airlines across North America. Much like we wouldn't recommend that you drive your car with ice or snow in front of the windshield to ensure that it's safe driving, that applies to aircraft as well. So we need to make sure that there's no ice or snow that's adhering to it. So the next time you take off in the winter months, it's these people here at the NRC that make sure you get off the ground. Megan Shaw, CTV News. There you go. So, and if you want to fly, good time to go to New Orleans right now. Yeah, absolutely.